Uh, Sophie, welcome to Opinions Matter. Hello. How now, are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, you've been listening to our conversation that we were having about parents buried their he- their heads buried into uh, their phones and all of that. Tell me what you witnessed the other day, Sophie. Um, I was down the beach with my family, so I have five children and my husband. Um, we were just down by the water throwing stones, and a child came up to us, which is you know they meet each other on the beach, which is fine. So she started to play with my younger, my second youngest. And after a few minutes, I noticed kind of my husband said, um, where are her parents? And I was like, oh God, I don't I don't know. Anyway, a few minutes passed and I called the child over and I was like, hey, sweetie, where's your mom or your dad? Do you know where they are? And she said, swimming. Oh. I was like, oh, swimming. I obviously asked if you, you know, oh, is your brother or your sister or anybody around? She said, swimming. And she kept saying the dad's name. Or which I thought was her name. She just kept saying a name to me. And again, like, okay. sorry, sorry to cut across you, Sophie. Again, mm-hmm. how old was this child? Now, my child is my daughter. She was playing with was two. Now she's about, she was about the same size, but my daughter's quite tall, so she could have been two and a half, three, maybe. Um, she could speak. And, she was articulate. So. Okay, so uh, two and a half, three year old. What yeah. be, what beach are we talking about? Uh, Bray. Bray, okay. So mm-hmm. Bray Seafront. Um, mm-hmm. Are you talking about down near the harbour? Uh, no, up by um, by the... Down the far end, Walker. basically. Yeah, yeah okay. the other end, yeah. And a two and a half year old, we'll say two and a half to three year old, yeah. was left sitting on the beach mm-hmm. on her own mm-hmm. while daddy was in swimming. Well, mommy, daddy, I'm not even sure who it was. Um, and I don't want to, like, like I said, like... She was, she was playing, it was about half an hour went by, right? That was fine. And we wanted to go. <laughs> we wanted to leave, but obviously I wasn't leaving a child wandering the beach on their own. Um, but after she said swimming, there was a, a few people that got out of the water further down the beach. And it was a good distance down the beach. Now, I would have classed it as a good distance down the beach. And I said it to my son. I said, you just run up there and see they're missing a child. Now, they got out of the water. They start patting themselves dry. Drying themselves off or whatever, my son came back and said, yeah, okay. So this little girl asked me to pick her up because she had no shoes on. And we know Bray is stony. So as we were walking up, they said the child's name and they had a smile on their face. And they're like, oh, hiya. And I just saw red. And um, I asked them, do they think what they've just done was right? I said, do you actually think what you've just done is okay? And I would have been pretty calm about it until I was looked at and made that I was in the wrong. I was called an oddball. Really? So, yeah, you're an oddball, aren't you? You're an oddball. So, (laughs) again, I I want to just clarify. There you are in Bray Beach the other day, Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm looking at the video that you sent in to us, Mm -hmm. and it's the stony part of the beach, and Mammy or Daddy or whoever, you're not even sure whether, but somebody who was in charge of that child decided to go in for a swim and Mm -hmm. leave the two-and-a-half-year-old, three-year-old just sitting on the beach on her own. Yeah. Now, they kept telling me that they could see her. I said, you could see her. Yeah, we could see her. I don't know what your problem is. You're being an oddball. What is your problem? We could see her. Now, in that video, I've obviously no faces or whatever shown. So you could see the distance from where that child, if that child was taken out. Okay, was, let, me, let me just play the video as I'm talking to you and I can describe to uh, our listeners what's happening in this video. So uh, this is a part of Bray Beach that I recognise. It's down the mm-hmm. far end uh, near the cliff walk. And uh, I'll just play the video here. Uh, that's them down there, I think. And then that child is down there beside Sean in the green team. Like, what in God's name? I'm going to have to. Now, um, I can clearly see that the parent or whoever who's in charge of that child is way up along the beach yeah. and uh, the child is sitting actually close to the uh, shoreline as well. Um, yeah, that's where my husband is. That's my husband standing beside her. That is unreal. That is unbelievable, I have to say. Now, yeah, and at, like after that, it was. I know this is going to sound really stupid, and I was really dubious about coming on because I don't attack and I, I don't like doing these things. And I, I saw red, and I said, "What's your name?" I have to report this to the guards. This is crazy, you know. And I was called to see you next odd... Tuesday. Oh really? Uh, you, oh yeah. You, oh, you yeah, weren't yeah, just yeah. called an oddball. You were called to no, see you next Tuesday. I was. I was. You know, you're such a see you next Tuesday or whatever, and that was fine. I'm. I didn't call the guards. Look. 
the, the child was safe. There was no issues there. I don't know. I don't. I just tried to put myself in a different position, and then I came home feeling bad that I had sent that woman into an anxiety-ridden night because I've threatened guards on her, and I felt really bad. But then I had to try and snap myself out of it, and I'm like, was this okay or was it not okay? Like, do people do that? I <laughs> I wouldn't leave my five children. I wouldn't leave one my two year old on the side of the water. Well, I went in for a swim. Okay, so you're called an oddball and to see you next Tuesday for yeah. expressing concern about the welfare of a child that is left sitting on the beach uh, unattended yeah. while mammy or daddy or whoever the guardian was went in for a swim. You didn't call the guards, though. Uh, because, no. But you did feel like it. I, I think it was more so uh, a spur of the moment to kind of, I, I'm not I, because, dealing with this. Because I, I, I'm just wondering... And I want, mm-hmm. to, I want to get our uh, listeners' reaction to this. Um, mm-hmm. And I want you to just send us a very quick yes or no to 85 2626 If you witness something like that, would you call the guards? Just send us a yes or a no to 085-825-2626. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm interested. And I, I know it's too late now, obviously. Yeah. Um, uh, do you wish you had? No. No, 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 no. no. Okay. I, I don't think that... The, the child, okay, obviously the position that they're in or whatever, I don't think the child was, the child was very articulate. She was a very happy little girl. I would never, ever want to be in a position. Mm. I, I don't know what that woman is like as a mother. She could be an absolutely fantastic mother. And like I said, I went home with guilt in my stomach because I had thought I may have upset her and put her in, you know, the child was safe. You know, I was there, the child was safe. I was looking after the child. I wanted to go. But I, I don't think I'd be ever feel comfortable calling the guys and having them go through that rigmarole. I think it was just because I was just so angry. And it wasn't even the anger of um, what had happened. It was because I was being blamed. They were looking at me like I had 24 heads, that's the bit which of, I said to her. That's the bit of this story that really uh, shocks me, to be honest, that they took it out on you uh, for even expressing a concern. Uh, I know, Jeremy, if you witness something like that, you definitely put your tuppence worth in. I, I would, and the reason I would, Sophie, is, mm. is is quite simple. If she, if this parent has done this once, she's done it again. And in fact, I just got a message in with exactly that point. Yeah. Um, yes, I would have called the guards because they will do it again. The child yeah. was lucky that she met nice people, but what happens if the child met someone who wasn't decent and had bad intentions or the child wandered into the sea? Um, but that's why I, that, that's yeah. what got me. Like, I, she came over and she was playing with my daughter. She was doing absolutely no harm. Lovely little child. Like I said, I went up and they were all, oh, I can't even remember the child's name. I was calling her something different, but they called her name and they were still patting themselves dry. And I'm like, do you realize what you've just done? And then I continued to vent. And then she turns around and she says, uh, she's staring at me. And I said, you're looking at me like I have 24 heads. Yeah, but you're an oddball. Uh, as opposed to the fact that you were actually looking out for the interests of her child. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, there was none of that. They could see her. They could see her. She was fine. They could see her. Now, if a wave had to come in and taken that child, that child was gone. Okay, and uh, like I said, I've seen the uh, the video that you sent in to us. Just, um, just, mm-hmm. uh, just play the video again. Obviously, people can't see it, but I want you to think about this. Uh, you all so know. I'm looking. So yeah. as as I'm playing this video, uh, over to the left hand side of the video is where the parents are, the mother, the father, whoever they are, and then the camera pans all the way over to the right, and then you can see where the child is. Have- Okay, so let's play this mm. one. Uh, that's them down there, I think. And then that child is down there beside Sean in the green team. Like, what in God's name? I'm going to have to. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I mean, there's a fair bit of distance between the oh, two. Well, you all know Bray Seafront, uh, for those of you listening. You know uh, how vast Bray Seafront is. You also know that it's not really a child friendly beach and that it's, you know, there's a big dip as soon as you get into the sea. And had that child been taken. Uh, or fell mm. into the sea. Forget about it. It's it's sayonara. Um, and not mm. even not even getting into the fact that someone could have snatched the child as well. Um, well, that that's that's another thing. And like like I said, and I was saying it earlier on. I don't. I feel really bad. Like, I feel really bad saying uh, discussing this, but I'm just so angry about it. And I don't think I would have been as uh, angry if I wasn't made out to be the bad person. 
Yeah, and, 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 and that's the most annoying part, uh, that you uh, got the blame for... That just, uh, sorry, that just shows you the kind of parents you're dealing with here. Oh, 100%, that, 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 that 100%, was, 100%. That 100%. they called you a CNX Tuesday when all you were doing was protecting their child. That's all you were doing. And again, this child, two years of age, yeah? Yeah. Oh my well, yeah, uh, maybe two, yeah, three, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, my God, I'm thinking at, at home, my da- daughter, who's like gone a year and three quarters or whatever, the thoughts... Yeah. I, I just can't fathom this. The thoughts they, of, me, of me leaving my daughter alone on Bray Beach. Uh, well, you go off in for a swim. Well, I go off in but they could see her. They could see her. And that Thanks. was just... But my, again, my, like I said, I have a two-year-old daughter as well. And if I was to get in swimming, it's not even just the water. As you go up Bray Seafront, you're going to the promenade. And then my one-year-old is just starting, and he legs it. And you're going towards the road. And when they were in swimming, they weren't shallowly swimming they were there's no way they could have got to that okay, child so they, anything they, had they, happened. they weren't just paddling in the water they were oh, proper no in swimming. no yeah. no they were in swimming and there's no way there was no so basically they put the responsibility of their child in the hands of random people on the beach that's the way i saw it you know it's, because if, if i wasn't there somebody else would have kind of gone okay darling where, where's your mom and your dad or whoever mm. and nobody's going to leave well I will, I, nobody's going to leave a child wandering a beach on their own. No, so, and obviously that it led to you not even being able to leave when you wanted to yeah, until you made yeah. sure the child was safe. It's a, it's a shocking story, uh, Sophie. I'm delighted that you highlighted it. Uh, we are going to podcast this as well because I want those parents to hear a word that this woman was talking on Opinions Matter uh, about what they did to their child and let them realise they're the ones that are at fault. So uh, I really appreciate yeah. you talking to us, Sophie. It's very important to get highlighted because as that message said a couple of minutes ago, if it happened once, it'll happen again. So uh, fair play to you for I'm highlighting. I'm sorry, Sophie, if they, are listening back, if they are listening back to this in, hind- yeah. in hindsight, because now you can look back on what happened and all that, what would you like to say to them if you're talking to them directly now? No. Um, okay, be in a nice way. <laughs> I'd like to say, okay, I don't even know. I, to be honest, it, the way I'm feeling, I'd like to apologize for Retalia and attacking them with regards. But I want them to know that to say, if that child had been taken by a wave or by anything, that child was gone within a matter of, you know, so less it, than a minute. So essentially you're saying get a grip. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, fair play. Watch her. She's precious. All right, great to talk to you, Sophie. Thanks you very too, much Adrian. indeed. Thanks All right, Bye, 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 Sophie. Bye. There you go. Some people would argue, oh, mind your own business, mind your own business. But you have to be honest. That You know, we've been doing uh, radio shows for, for many, many years. That's one of the most shocking yeah, stories. Yeah, that is unbelievable. The, the thoughts of a two-year-old being left alone on Bray Beach uh, is just... Some people shouldn't have children. That's the bottom line.